Jesse James Decker in the building. Give it up. Oh, yeah. You have to be so tired. <laughs> you were on a plane just this morning to come here. You have the three kids. How's life? I have a lot of concealer on, you guys. <laughs> I've had a lot of coffee. No, I'm good. Life is really good. I think when you're happy, you just, you know, you don't let the little things sweat you. You know, yeah. you just get to it. Busy is nothing. Busy is nothing because, you know, it's it's all a blessing. But, yes, it's been a it's been an early morning. I was up at 4 a.m., but it's all good. Well, we're really happy to have you here, especially right on the heels of your huge first ever New York Fashion Week show with Kittenish, which is just fantastic. Uh, how was the show? How was the fashion world treating you? It was so much fun. I was, I don't know, it was obviously my first fashion show. I've been to New York Fashion Week before, and, and it's very, like, fancy and, and, you know, really high fashion. But I wanted mine to be a reflection of me. And I'm a very down-home, casual, comfy girl. And I made sure all my models were smiling and, and being flirtatious and silly. I didn't want anyone to be too serious. So I really felt like it was a success, a reflection of me and my line. And I'm excited about uh, the fall collection coming out. And we saw your um, Patriots connection with Camille closing out the show. Show, which yes. is just awesome. She's an amazing model. She's um, coming today, actually. Oh, is she? Yeah. Y'all, Camille Costick in the building. Yeah. What? Um, and that's what I was hoping that with your line and with Eric was playing with the Patriots. You're I was tired like, of Patriot. Right? <laughs> I was like, we are going to have the cutest women's Patriots <laughs> gear. I was so excited for you to design some, but I know it didn't work out. But you know what? It's still a tie. You know, we still got to, this was the last place he played football on the football field. So it was it was still very exciting and a great experience. And uh, we enjoyed our our three short weeks here. And we do. Yeah. We get to own a piece of you forever now. That is forever. true. You have a tie. It what about the book? Is. The book on the way, Just yes. Jesse, October 2nd? Yes. Tell my, us about that. My book is coming out October 2nd. It's a variety book of just all sorts of things. Um, I decided to do a book uh, after I did a tour a couple years ago, and Boston was actually one of my stops um, at the House of Blues. Um, I just had so many fans that would come up in my meet and greets and ask me such personal questions, and I wanted to be able to answer or give advice or things that they wanted to know, and I, there was just never enough time. So I just started collecting all these questions and things that women wanted to know for me and started putting it all together. And I was like, you know, I just want to do a book and just, I don't know, just see what, why not? Why not? See what happens with it. And so um, I'm so excited. It's going to be cooking, love advice, a um, little bit about how I grew up. A lot of people don't really know my childhood story or, um, you know, just also, it's just a variety of pretty much everything. Fashion, I love, tips. I love yeah. to see, because I, I actually was in Louisville, Kentucky with you at some show and you were playing with Justin Bieber a long time ago. <laughs> how do you? remember that I don't know I was just telling Matt a second ago about um, Justin Bieber and I did radio tour together so a lot of people don't know that I was on I got to ride a bus with Justin when he was a little little when he was a little guy he had just got signed to the same label as me and we were together for weeks upon weeks and you know the social media world is not anything like it is now today at all. There, I mean, Twitter had just come out, and so I remember my song was number twenty on the charts, and I was very excited about this. Well, my radio rep tells me that Justin Bieber will be closing the show, and I'm like, oh. and I'm like nineteen, but my song's higher on the charts. Why am I closing the show? Who is this kid? So we roll up to the venue. And I see maybe 20,000 screaming girls. Oh, wow. And I'm sitting next to this little Justin guy. And these <laughs> girls are jumping onto the car, banging and crying. And I'm going, what is going on? And I had my answer. That's why that guy was closing right. and not me. <laughs> That's hilarious. That but I love that going from there, I loved watching the pro progression of you as a human. Like, you seem so much more comfortable in your skin today than back then. And oh, you're yeah. like a voice of the moms. And I, I feel like... You have embraced this motherhood thing in this next chapter. Do you feel that that's where you're at? I really do. I have to say, I think the moment I became a mother, I really became who I was supposed to be. And I think everyone does have that moment in their life where something happens or like, that's when I really figured out this is the person I'm supposed to be. And, you know, I just, I was a young girl and I did silly things just like all young girls do, but I really started to like myself when I became a mother. And I think it's because it wasn't about me anymore, and it was about them. And it's so much more fun that way. Mm -hmm. So are you going to drop anything now? I feel like you, you, you're playing like a <laughs> real-life game of like Survivor, where something has to leave. You're, you're, <laughs> you have a book. You, you're huge on Instagram and all that, um, the, the fashion stuff. 
it's the a, makeup. It's and a you business. raise your own kids. Props to that. You don't have nannies. I don't have nannies. No real housewives. This is why I'm tired. <laughs> but it's it's because I do things like I got up at four this morning to be here, and then as soon as it's over, I'm getting right back on a plane to go home to put my kids to bed. So I just those are the priorities. I'm tired, but you only get these moments for a short amount of time until they leave the nest. So if I can work and raise my children, I'm going to do it. And if being a mother suffers, then I have to cut back. Amen. You gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Is that it? I swear. It's about, the, it's about your family first. All right, yes. give it up, everybody, for Jesse, Jesse James yes. Decker. Can't wait to see you live. Thank you. I'll see you all out there.